Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to another Jack of All Trades. Alright guys, so here's another Jack of All Trades, and today we are doing... Hmm. I don't think I'm quite ready yet. This is ready, but I'm not. And I'm gonna be in three, two, one, go! Ooh, got my little apron, guys. Don't worry, I know what's inside out. I do, I do. And I got a hat, because I don't want my hair getting in the way. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna be cooking. I'm not gonna be burning the house down again. Anyways, moving on. I'm not cooking. Then, what am I gonna do? I have an apron. I just don't want to get messy. So here's what we're doing today. Ready? Bah! That we're doing play work. It's a bit different, but I want to try to make something. I don't know. I don't know why I chose to do this, but I am. I'm gonna do it. So today, guys. I'm gonna be trying to make a box and I have made a box before I made a guitar pick looking box for one of my friends now I want to try to make a box with hinges this might be difficult I don't even know how big I'm gonna make it but all I know all I know all I know all I know is I'm gonna make it look good for for me, for me. Doesn't have to always be for someone. It's for me. I'm gonna stop right now. I'm gonna move you guys. Ready? <gasps> My hand is clay. All right, guys. So now that you're in new workspace, much better than before. Gotta clean it up so it's nice. Not really dirty. You don't want that sticking to your clay. Now when you start, you gotta make sure you roll it up, make it nice and tender. Make sure you pound it so it can be flat. Because you wanna make a box and it needs to be flat. You also need that water. So you smooth out any creases. Make it nice, smooth, easier, tender. Now you put it up. Because you think you're gonna do a wall, but then, eventually, you realize that it's much, much better to just tear it off. And you know what you do? You make a square. And that's going to be the base of your box. You tear those off, and you smooth out the sides, you know? Smooth it out, because it's the base. But, you see, things happen. And... It gets stuck to your work face, and there you go. You've done well, haven't you now? But then, with failure comes bounce back up. I didn't say that very well, but yeah. You make a smaller square that time, but you know you're not going to fail next time. So, you're determined to do this, and you try to put two and two together, but you have to score it first. And that's how you make two and two stick together with clay. So now, once you've scored, you put that little bit of water on it so both will stick much better than just with the score. And now, after you scored and placed it together, you, as you can see, smooth out the sides and insides and you keep doing that for all four walls of your box now i've brought in a q-tip this is very helpful because it can get into the little corners that you can't really get with your sausage fingers i don't know i said it like that but yeah. um Oop, keep that little hair dryer. Now, you take that Q-tip 
and then you run it underwater to help you connect the corners of the walls together. Because again, your fingers are sausage fingers! Too big for your tiny little box! Why do I keep having an accent? Anyways, hair dryer helps it be a little bit more sturdy so you don't manipulate the box every single time you touch it. Because that would be annoying, won't it? Now, in the process of making the fourth little wall. Now, I'm making the syringe. So, a syringe? No, the hinge. So I made a little cylinder and I poked it with a, a budless Q-tip. And now I'm trying to make the axle. The axle has to be nice and rolled out and it has to be able to fit into the hinge. Now I'm making the end of the axle so that it would be easier to attach the box and to place into the hinge without having to, having to put the end on while it's inside the hinge. Now since I broke that, I have to make another one. And now I'm trying a different approach. As you can see, I'm reinserting the uh, the Q-tip into it. And now I'm making the top of the box because I think I'm all good and set and ready to go. But see, right there, I broke the box with the hinges and they weren't sturdy at all. I could not trust that Q-tip with my hinge. So, I go for a different approach with another Q-tip, but I left the buds on. As you can see in a bit, it really helps as it stays on the box efficiently. All right guys, so that's about it. I know you can't see my face still, but you know what, I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> a long day so far so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up down below if you liked it and if you're excited for my next videos and want to be notified when my new videos are coming out please subscribe and follow me on all my social media links down below if you want to and i will see you when i see you love you bye